Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of AutoCAD 2018. So today I will be showing you how to add tolerances and surface roughness symbols onto your to your AutoCAD drawings. So I will start by opening my example on AutoCAD. So the first thing that I will probably do is go to my annotate tab. And then you can find your dimension style manager editor either under this tab and manage dimension styles or you can also find that if you click on this little arrow here. So now that I've got my dimension style manager open, if I go normally it's best practice to make a copy of your um, dimension style. So you not you don't edit the default one, so but this is only a tutorial, so we're going to use the one that I set by default just to show you. So if you go modify, uh, there is a tab here at the end, tolerances, and here you can you can choose your method. So right now it's on symmetrical by default. Well, normally you would have it unknown, so that's how your dimensions would look like. If I now move it to symmetrical. Now I can add a, an upper value here, so let's say 0 0.1, and now it will be that tolerance will be showing there, plus minus 0 0.1, because it's a symmetrical tolerance, linear. So, yeah, you can just change your upper value here. If I now change it to deviation, then I can choose how much it deviates in each direction. So right now it's still symmetrical because it's showing you what um, is deviating by point 0.1 in any direction. If, if you want it to be, for instance, um, bilateral, um, you can say, for example, 0.3 for the upper value, so that changes to 0.3 and 0.1 for your lower value, so minus 0.01 or plus 0.3. If you want it to be unilateral, just change your lower value to zero or your upper value to zero. So that's sort of telling you that it can only, um, the tolerance only allows um, the path to be bigger by 0.3 in the positive direction. So. You can change the position of your values. So right now it's set up on middle, which is probably the best because on bottom that means that your your dimension will be aligned to the lower value of your tolerance. If it's on top, it will be aligned with the top value. So we'll probably use middle so your dimension is aligned in between both your upper and lower value. And the third option is limits. If you go on limits, you can you can select an upper value and the lower value, and it will basically show you the upper and lower limit for your part. I'll probably just leave it on symmetrical 0.05. It's gonna be my tolerance, and I'll just click on OK. Obviously, it has not updated simply because that is a different um, dimension layer. If I change it to the one that I've just edited, ISO 25. Now, as you can see, my tolerance, my symmetrical tolerance, has now updated. Okay. So the next thing that I will be showing you is how to create leaders for your datums. So if you go on multi-leader, click on it. I'm just going to create a random leader just to show you what happens. So as you can see, it has created a normal standard leader, but I want a date leader. Therefore, I'm going to expand this tab and I'm going to go on manage multi-leader styles, or again, you can find the under this arrow. 
So normally it's best practice to make a copy of your um, style, but I'm going to use the default one. So under leader format, you can change your symbol from close field to datum triangle. I'm going to use datum triangle field. And you can see the style here. The thing is, I want to I want my datum um, annotation to be straight. So instead of um, using landing settings, I'm going to turn them off. So my annotation is straight. Then under my content or my leader connection, I'm going to shift that to a vertical attachment. And now I'm going to use a frame text. Now if I click on OK, and close it, it's now probably updated. So when I create a datum, so I'll create one here. That will be a, that's a little bit big. So again, I will edit my style so my text height I'll make it to my and my arrow my arrow head will be one mil I'll click on OK close it should update my text box also a little bit big. So that will be my landing gap, which is meant to be one. I want to close it so you can see my text box goes down to the right size. So I'll create another leader, and that's going to be. Be. Okay, so having my both of my datums, now I can start applying geometrical tolerances. So if you go on dimensions, they are quite hidden. So you will find them right here. Tolerance command. Click on it. Here you can add your symbol, depending on what geometrical tolerance you want to use. So, for instance, if we want to use this is position, concentricity, symmetry, parallelism, perpendicularity, angularity, cylindricity, flatness, circularity, straightness, profile, and run out. So let's start by applying maybe maybe a run out one. Let's say that you want your run out to be point, um, 0.05 mil. Here in this box, you can enter a diameter symbol if you want to use a diameter reference, which is not the case. Here you can use your material condition, so maximum material condition, um, least material condition. And S is regardless of feature size. I'm going to use my maximum material condition. Now you can add um, your second tolerance here, which I'm not going to apply. Um, here you can enter your datums. So I'm going to enter A, I'm going to enter datum B. And here you can select your um, material condition dialog box. Um, you can show again maximum, minimum, and regardless of feature condition. So, so now when I click on OK, now I can place my tolerance box. So here I've got it. 
this may run out. So now, if I go to my leaders, I'll switch it to an auditive and create a standard leader, which will go from which will go from here. Actually, I should have um, used the So I've got my leader there, again you can edit that. And get rid of your landing. So it goes directly to your text box. Just line it now, uh, to make it straight. So that indicates the radial run out for my feature. So if I now, for example, want to apply a tolerance here, I can, for example, switch again to um, standard, add a multi leader here. It's going to be A. Going to be B. And now I can switch my leaders to an alternative, other multi leader here from this quadrant, for instance. Now I can add the tolerance box. I can say symbol position. That's going to be my diameter. And then here I can add my tolerance. So I can say I want that to be 0.1 of a mil. Maximum material condition between datums A and B. That will bring my tolerance box. And there you have your, your jump. So the last thing will be surface roughness annotation. So in order to draw the symbol, I'm going to draw a couple of lines. So that line is going to be 1.7 and the angle is going to be 60 degrees. And then my second line is going to be 3.5, again at a 60 degree angle. So that's my symbol for surface roughness. So now I can place that. Probably in this surface. And now I can enter a single line text. And my text height is going to be one mil. I'm going to turn my ortho mode on just in case. 
zero degrees angle of rotation. And my surface roughness is going to be one micron. So one. So that's actually it. That's how you um add tolerance geometric tolerances to your drawings as well as linear tolerances and surface roughness annotations. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.